हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीडियो इंट्रोडक्शन टू बैकअप मीडिया इन लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग व्हाट इज बैकअप मीडिया एंड व्हाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैकअप डेट आर अवेलेबल इन द लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड अदर ओपन सोर्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एज बैकअप इज वन ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन द सिस्टम मेंटेनेंस टास्क and this is this plays very crucial uh, part in the disaster management and recovery so backup is also one type of important aspect of any operating system linux also has provided various types of backups that we are going to discuss thoroughly in this today's video so coming to the introduction of the backups in the linux operating system as we know that there are several types of backup hardwares are available backup hardwares and medias are available available with the linux operating system and other open source operating system each has its advantages and disadvantages whatever backup medias are available each has some advantages and also they are having some disadvantages also that we will discuss in the later part of the video advantages and disadvantages first of all we will focus on our aspect that is backup how to take the backup and what are different types of backup medias available in the linux operating system now coming to our discussion the type of medium to choose depend on largely on amount of data you need to archive so whatever the media either you are using whatever media you are using for backup it depend upon the size of the data so depending upon the size of the data we need to choose the we need to choose or we need to select the media for the backup okay how long you will store a backup the factors which depend or the selection criteria it is having different factors such as how long you will be you will store backup how often you expect to recover data from your backup and how much you can afford to spend the following table compares most common backup medias the following table means here we are having a table of comparison table of comparison which will uh describe the different uh, uh, medias and comparison between dif that different medias so here we are having the table in which we are having three basic columns such as backup medium then advantages and disadvantages so here we'll see different mediums uh, mediums of the backups such as magnetic tape writable cds writable dvds and additional hard drive in that we can have additional hard disk also in that we have we can have usbs also so depending upon that now we are having this type of medias with us and we are going to compare them with respect to advantages and disadvantages of that particular medias which are used for taking the backup now coming to this magnetic tape now if you see if you focus on the advantage is that it is having high capacity low in cost for archiving massive amount of data so magnetic tape is very effective uh, media for storing the backup as it is having very high capacity and as compared to the cost it is having very low cost for storing the data now if if you focus on the disadvantage of this media then we can have some disadvantages like this sequential access medium so recovery of individual files can be slow because magnetic tape has the property of sequential access to the data or whatever um, store information on that particular media is there so in this case uh, whenever we are going to recover so there will be some what slow the process will be slow so this is regarding the magnetic tape now coming to the writable cds so advantages of this writable cds are that random access medium so recovery of the individual files is easier backup can be restored from any cd rom 
so in we, in case of this writable cds when we take the backup on this writable cds so that has the property or advantage is that we can access the data randomly from this particular cds and now for that recovery of the file is easier and backup can be restored from any cd rom or read, read only memories now disadvantage of this particular thing is that limited storage space approximately 650 mb per cd so that is the disadvantage of this particular writable cds so it is having random access one advantage and disadvantage is that it is having limited storage now writable dvds the next media for taking up the backup is writable dvds so that having the advantages like this random access medium like cds large storage capacities up to 4.7 gb although the actual capacity can be achieved might be less so it is having the large capacity random access in nature and it is having the advantage like this but disadvantage is that dvd writable drives and dvd writable read, uh, read uh, drives discs are relatively expensive though coming down in the price slower and less common than cd rom drives so this is our disadvantages now additional hard drive in that we can have additional hard uh, hard disk or additional usb drive or any other media so in that we can have the advantages like this allow faster and more frequent backup faster recovery from crashes no media to load data can be located and recovered more quickly you can configure the second disk to be virtual clone of the first disk so that you can boot off the second disk if the first disk crashes means additional hard drive in, in that case if you are using additional disk you, you can make a clone of that particular disk so in that case you can use it as a uh, secondary uh, drive for uh, booting of the process boot, boot, booting process so that in that case um, you can have a backup of that particular entire system that is attached to your particular uh, hardware disadvantage of this particular thing is that data cannot be stored off site thus there is a risk of data loss if the entire server is destroyed this method is not well suited to keeping historical archives for many revisions of your files the hard drive will eventually full up so this is a, these are the disadvantage of this particular uh, media for use for this particular backup process so here we have discussed regarding the uh, medias and their advantages and disadvantages for use for taking the backup of that particular thing now we will focus on the next topic that is regarding what are different types of backups you can take in linux or any other operating system so when it comes to variety linux hold its own virtually every category below are the some most common types of the backup linux supports so there are different types of the backup like full backup incremental backup differential backup network backup ftp backup so these are different types of the backups which are used in the linux operating system so first we will focus on the full backup hence the name full backup makes complete copy of all data on your system some linux admins do a full backup by default for smaller folders or data sets that don't eat up lot of storage space because they tend to require significant amount of space admins responsible for larger set of data usually only runs full backup periodically the problem with this approach is that it can create lengthy gaps that puts your data at greater risk full backup is nothing but it is the backup in which we are taking the entire backup of the particular disk so it is also having some advantages and also some disadvantages like that so like this pros and cons we are going to study here like that all data is centralized in one backup setup cons are backup operations are slower as you can continue to execute full backups and accumulate more data next thing is that readily available data makes recovery operation fast and easy recovers requires the most storage space version control is easy to manage make inefficient use of resources as the same files are continuously copied so this is regarding the full backup now coming to the incremental backup as the name suggests incremental backup 
incremental backup record all data that has changed since performing your last backup means whatever date of the last backup is date so it will maintain that particular record and it will take the backup from the next date of that particular backup because that particular backup is available and next whatever changes are made so from that particular time it will take the backup so that is incremental backup if you are if you perform a full backup on sunday evening you can run incremental backup on tuesday evening to hit all the files that changed since that first job then on thursday you run a job that copies all changes made since tuesday so on and so forth in a nutshell the incremental method creates a chain of backups these backups are stacked in order from your original starting point same thing is that it is having some advantages and disadvantages so in that takes up considerably less space than full backup the need to restore all records change result in slower recovery operation using less space results in linear backup images and faster backup operation the need to search multiple backup set results in slower recovery of individual files adds retention efforts by creating multiple versions of the same file initial full backup and all incremental backups thereafter are in needed for complete recovery now coming to differential backup differential backup records differential backups records all changes made since your last full backup so let's say you run a full backup on sunday night then following tuesday you run differential backup to record all the changes made since sunday job the job you run on tuesday only record changes made since sunday and cycle continues until running your next full backup you can call this method a middle ground between full and incremental backup advantages and disadvantages are makes the most efficient use of storage space backup process is slower than incremental backup performs backup faster than full backups recovery process is slower than full backup recovers data faster than incremental backup initial backup and differential backups thereafter are needed for complete recovery now coming to the last uh, next type that is called as network backup the network backup use client server model to send data across the network to backup destinations in network configuration multiple computers can act as client and backup data to one centralized server or multiple servers you can easily manage network backups with comprehensive disaster recovery resolution recovery solution for example an organization can purchase 10 license for particular software to provide access to each user with a single registration entry from the systems from their system admins can install the software to all 10 machines and backup each individual system accordingly now advantages and disadvantages are can be developed for on site and off site backup operations present additional network related management challenges compatible with full incremental and differential backup technologies can be costly operation when backing up large set of data supports a wide variety of storage medias reliability may be dependent on internet connectivity and third party infrastructure now the last type of backup we are going to discuss regarding ftp backup ftp like file transfer protocol ftp backup backups leverage the client server architecture so uh, to facilitate facilitate backups over internet via file transfer protocol this method can play an integral role in your data protection strategy by allowing to transfer mission critical data to an offsite facility many web hosting providers offer ftp capabilities linux provide conven convenient access to a number of free ftp clients from the software repository bundled in numerous distributions now advantages and disadvantages are perform backup and recovery operations in easy and affordable fashion ftp lack encryption makes security concern helps protect data from files fire floods and other on site disaster backups are confined on file size limitation 
support a large number of users on single FTP account. Speed and reliability of backup and recovery operations depend on internet connections. So these are different methods of the backups that we have discussed in these videos and medias of the backups that are used in the Linux operating system. Thank you.